I'm back. Well, I am back. Uh, I'm sorry for the absence. It's been about eight months since I've done a video. I haven't just haven't had a chance. Uh, my 15 year old has been traveling the country, playing soccer and doing a great job. In fact, their team ended up uh, losing in the semifinal game at nationals this summer out in Denver. And so my time has just been completely exhausted with sports uh, between soccer for her and hockey and gymnastics and lacrosse for my youngest. It's been nuts. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on a few things. Uh, more specifically, uh, component, component shortage. Uh, I've got a project coming up here again, and we'll touch on that in the next video, which will be coming. I promise I'm not disappearing now for another eight months. I mean, maybe six, no. My plan, first off, actually is to try to do at least one video a month. Uh, with my schedule being as hectic as it is, it is very difficult for me to, to pr produce contact regularly or as of late at all. So I am going to get back on schedule to doing something more regularly. Um, what kind of got me going on this and made me decide I just got to do a video real quick was uh, I am signed up for EVGA's notifications. So I uh, went in and subscribed for alert or an auto notify, if you will, for an uh, 3090 uh, RTX uh, for the Win 3 Ultra Gaming graphics card. I do have one already. I bought one back in September, October, whenever it first launched. I want to say it was September of 2020. And uh, the rule on their website is limit one per household. And apparently they literally mean that because I just got my notification that was my turn in their queue, which I do like the idea of a queue. It's a great way of making sure that people that are using the cards for um, gaming and production are actually getting those cards as opposed to just being bought for scalpers. Um, I went to purchase it and it actually stopped me because it said I've already got one in my household. I actually called them because I was like, you know, I want a second because I'd like to SLI these. Um, for those of you that know my main rig, Genesis is uh, a uh, over the kill because I can rig uh, with dual 2080 Ti's, uh, 9900K, and um, that's just what I wanna do. The 3090s are the last one that we know of that will allow for SOI, at least from this standpoint, because they stopped support on everything else. So I just wanted to do it one more time just because I can. Uh, I finally even got that stinking little bridge because I was so excited to do so. However, EVJ says, I can't buy another one, at least not from them. So my um, entire point of this video is, what do you think of this? From one side, I look at it and say, you know, Bravo, they're trying to get it into as many people's hands as possible, which is great. But I also look at it as, I'm sure there are those out there that have created other email accounts and forwarding addresses and all this stuff so that they can still get them, which I'm just not willing to do. Um, but I look at it as from my standpoint is I bought one over a year ago, actually a year and what, three months ago now. I want to have a second so I can SLI it. Um, and they just won't let me do it. A little frustrated as a consumer because I waited in line this whole time and now they said, nope, you can't have it. Funny thing is, is uh, on a side note, I did get a phone call from a guy uh, that's a buddy of mine down at Micro Center in, uh, here in Minnesota in, in the cities. And he says, hey, I, I got a bunch of 3090s in. So side note, uh, I was able to go get one from them. <laughs> but EVJ wouldn't sell me one directly. I guess this is kind of how it works. Carmine away, right? Uh, so I was able to get it, just a little frustrated. But anyway, I want to know, what do you think about that process? Do you think that, hey, that's all fine and dandy? Or are you like, huh, it's a little strange that they won't at least sell to a consumer who's not trying to scalp it because, I mean, you're not going to sit in line that long just as, well, at least I hope you wouldn't sit in line that long just to scalp it when you've actually get uses for it. So anyway, uh, that was what I wanted to ask the question on. That was the extended explanation of what this whole video was about is, what do you think about EVGA system with regards to this right now? I'm torn. I, I haven't made a full decision on it. Uh, not everybody has a micro center uh, that's readily available to them. Obviously, you can't go into Best Buy and get one. They're scalped through the website. You can't go into uh, New Egg and get one because they're scalped through the website. I mean, these bots are just grabbing everything that they can. And then, I'm sorry, but idiots are out there perpetuating the problem by buying those 
uh, graphics cards at these insane prices. So that's just what's continuing this. If people would stop, we wouldn't have this problem. Well, anyway, uh, getting back to this, uh, I just wanted to actually point out uh, this uh, and let you know I am back. I will have content coming next week. I've already got it planned. Um, we're going to talk about Genesis and upgrade time. So uh, with that, I hope to see you in another week. Thank you for being patient. For those of you that have not unsubscribed, I really appreciate it. This channel is very small. I don't know if it'll ever get much bigger than it really is right now, but it is something that I do enjoy doing. I just have not had the time. So thank you for sticking around. I hope you liked it. If you do hit that thumbs up, uh, the dislike button, unfortunately now, doesn't really do much for the public. If you wanna hit it, you can. At least it tells me what you think, I guess. Uh, but beyond that, great to see you and we will see you in the next one. So, Thanks. Hey. Another level, another level, another level. We ain't never settle now. Level up, watch me level up, watch me level up, watch me level up. Another level.